You know, one of the common things I hear is that my upper body should always be facing down the hill. And while that's true some of the time, like in these short turns here, it doesn't hold true all of the time. So let's go take a little bit of a closer look at it and see when it changes and why. So here in these short turns, I'm turning my legs pretty quick and my body stays facing down the hill. But if I then go into a bigger turn and I'm turning my legs a bit more progressively, that's where my body starts to follow my direction of travel. So what you'll notice is when I'm making the short turns and I'm turning my legs a lot more, my upper body stays facing down the hill. But then when I get on a bigger sized turn and I'm starting to use my edges a little bit more, my body starts to face my direction of travel and go with my skis. So let's take one more look at it so you can see it in action again. So if I get started with a bigger sized turn here, and you'll notice that my body's going with the skis because I'm turning my legs that little bit more progressively this time. But then I go into a short turn and my body stays a bit more stable facing down the hill. So keep in mind guys, the upper body doesn't need to stay facing down the hill the whole time. It's all relative to how quickly you turn your legs and what kind of size turn you want to make. I've been Mark. For more helpful tips like these, come and find us at the Big White Skiing Board School.